And finally, it's that time of year when people are going to work sick when they should consider staying home. I stayed home Friday. We pulled Shannon Smith out of quarantine to report <laughs> this story. Being sick is not fun. Being sick and going to work is even less fun. I would know. I am sick and at work right now. We're seeing strep and um, stomach viruses and just the common cold. I've got a cold. I'm on my second box of tissues today. I'm sick of you and yet here I am. Some people can't miss work. Some people don't want to miss work and some people just aren't too sure if they're contagious or if they're not. Nurse practitioner Nikki Womble knows people go to work sick all the time, but my coworkers are not liking this sound. <laughs> Anytime you have a cold or a virus, if it's bacterial or viral, you're definitely contagious. The National Health Service says cold viruses can survive on indoor surfaces like your keyboard for seven days. Sneeze into your elbow as opposed to just sneezing on the keyboards and all that that everybody's going to be using. Womble says there is a one sure sign that you should not go to work sick. If you have a fever, you should stay home and keep it to yourself. Wash your hands a lot with soap and water and hand sanitizer to keep this crud away from you. There is definitely some research that shows that taking zinc or airborne or something of that nature is good to do. <coughs> Try to contain your coughing and sneezing to your own little bubble that you then wipe down with a cleaning wipe. So if you're sneezing and coughing on other people, it's really important that, uh, that you don't do that. I'm Shannon Smith. <laughs> no, no. And I should probably call in sick tomorrow from 10 News. We'll make sure of that. Yes. <laughs> if you have a fever, cold, or cough that worsens over the few days, don't hesitate to go to your doctor and make sure it is not the flu.